Hi everyone, welcome back to our short videos on business studies. And today we will be looking at methods to gather information. We have looked at the first part on primary market research and also today we'll be looking at secondary research. Yeah. Now let's move on. So do you recall what secondary research means, right? So it is a method of gathering information or desk research where you use materials that's already available, right? Or secondhand materials. And these secondhand materials can form uh, can form in various categories. For example, through an internal documents that we have, sales reports, management reports that a company already has. Also in the form of external sources, such as company competitor reports, journals, books, and things like that to gather information. We can also look at printed materials, just a, a matter of hard copy or soft copy. In this case, it's hard copy like newspaper articles and things like that. We can also look at web-based materials or information from the internet through the e-libraries and web pages and whatnot. Yeah? And we can also look for information where it is paid for. We normally need to pay a bit of money to gather this information, such as through trade journals or through uh, market intelligence performed by data companies. Now, on my right hand side, you'll see five categories where basically these are the headers for the information that you see on the left hand side of my presentation. So I'm going to give you some time to label this one, two, three, four, five, according to the categories that you see on the left hand side of this presentation, and then we'll check our answers together. Now, I think you would have been able to do that very quickly. So let's put all the information on the screen before we do the matching of answers. Print it and then we have web base and we also have paid for materials. And let's check our answers here, right? On the first one, information which has been collected and sorted by a third party goes to the paid for type of materials, trade journals, government sources and things like that. And item number two, located in an electronic format in the internet, basically web-based materials like newspaper web pages, e-libraries, and so forth. Third one is quite straightforward, hard copy information or printed materials, right? Fourth is information which has been compiled from an external source and is not directly related to the business, right? So it could be from any parts of uh, the world in terms of information, but it's not directly related to your business, but you're gathering it to help in the research of your own particular business. Now, the fifth one is information which is not publicly available, but is generated for a different reason within the business, such as the company's own financial reports, all right, management reports, sales reports, which is done for a specific purpose. Hence, it can be used by the company to use certain information that is related into their own new research. So basically, these are five types of categories of gathering information or ways to gather information for a secondary research. So it's also important to look at, you know, the benefits and, and disadvantages of using paid for information to gather, to gather, you know, information for your research. Also using the web right to gather information so you know about the um, you know may not be precise to what you're looking for it may be outdated irrelevant of course it is fast you know to look for information on the internet right but there are more valuable information that you can get but you need to pay for it involves a bit of money so these are all the types of advantages and disadvantages relating to uh, gathering of information via secondary research Let's test yourself, which you can do this on your own as your own homework. All right, methods of gathering information through secondary research. Also, the disadvantages of gathering information through sales reports. What does it mean by market intelligence? Explain two disadvantages of using secondary research to gather information and two disadvantages of using the internet to gather information. So you may use this video to help you also to look at your own reading materials such as um, you know your, your, your school textbook uh, notes and whatnot to help you understand further. Yeah. And we have come to the end of today's very short lesson on gathering information through secondary research. If you do find this useful, as always, please share it around. Thank you so much and have a great, great day ahead.